I'm gonna try to survive 200 days in Better Minecraft Hardcore. In the first 100 days, we built our starter house, adventured through tons of new structures, and defeated some insanely difficult bosses like the Nether Gauntlet. In these next 100 days, we continue our adventures and gearing up, build some very cool and useful structures, including a horse stable and new storage. And I've gotta say, surviving these 200 days is not an easy task. In fact, it's my goal to defeat the Obsidolith, one of the most difficult bosses in this mod pack. But hey, if you uh, you hit that subscribe button, it'll, it'll give me some luck. Anyways, relax, grab your favorite snacks, and enjoy as I try to survive 200 days in better Minecraft hardcore. Woo, okay, we're back in the world. 200 days. First, oh my goodness. Wait, what is happening? <laughs> oh no. Wait, there's icicles growing on my roof. Hold on. What I'd really like to do is get an experience farm. And the one we're gonna build is a gold farm. That's because this will give us gold and experience, which is great. Now to do that, I'm gonna need to get a bunch of materials. And while I wanna start collecting them right away, I think it would be a lot easier if we have a shulker box. So let's head into the end and... Ooh, Ooh, this is a bit scary and let's see if we can find an end city and get some shulkers and along the way maybe we'll get some luck and find an elytra oh and i never picked up these dragon scales wow this is cool stuff wow okay dragon sword look at that thing that's very cool i want to get full dragon armor in the future here we go let's bridge over now is there a totem of void undying yes there is i should definitely make one of these in fact it wouldn't be the worst idea to make one of them now there we go Boom, and two eyes of Ender. All that's left is the chorus fruit. I love these waste stones. They are so useful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. I just had a heart attack. I'm not gonna lie. These things look scary. Look at their teeth and eyes. I think they're friendly. Oh my God. That is terrifying. And I forgot to grab blocks. How many times is this that I've gone back and forth? Look at this. You know what? There we go. I just grabbed like five sacks of, of dirt. Okay. I've built myself a little safety platform. I'm pearling in. Oh, no. Oh, whew. okay, I'm good. The end for dummies. Well, thank you for that. I don't appreciate being called a dummy. Look at this beautiful, beautiful dimension. We got this red fire, cryptic stone. Okay, I gotta stay focused. Oh my goodness, look at this stuff. Oh my goodness, I just got levitation. Oh no. <laughs> Does this just keep giving you levitation? What if I grow this? Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I've angered an enderman apparently. Ender warthog. That was a quest. Kill and under warthog. Cool. I got some stuff from that. So far, my visit to the end has not been very safe. This looks crazy. Like, this just looks extremely demonic. I'm not gonna lie to you. What is going on? Look at this stuff. This is crazy. Oh, that's another one of these guys. So it charges, but it doesn't stop once it charges, which is good to know. Good. Did it drop anything? It did. Oh, two of these to make a netherite scrap? Whoa, I do actually need netherite armor. That's a pretty good way to get netherite. Mm, I should get some more ender pearls. <laughs> Okay, I got eight ender pearls. <gasps> oh, oh, I thought that was an end city, but it seems like something else. In fact, it seems a bit scary because I feel like a boss is in there. Oh man, I'm burning. That's ender pearl. So it's completely in the air. Before approaching it, I'd probably like to make that totem of void undying, and I see chorus fruit over there. Hello, boom, totem of void undying. Now I'm good and I won't die from the void. I believe it'll teleport me to the surface. And I'll head up here. Why is there an obsidian pillar with a crystal there? Wait, hold on. So am I supposed to destroy this? I feel like I might have made an oopsie. Like, I feel like that's, like, I was supposed to use that somehow. Nothing. You know, maybe you guys know, because I'm pretty lost. Make my way up. Hello? I'm mining in. Don't see anything yet. What if this is just all a solid tower? I'm so confused. Look at this. Outside, this literally has nothing except for this at the top which is an obsidian altar, and this is a boss altar. Okay, <laughs> I'm not finding a boss right now. No, thank you. Obsidolith, that might be what this is. I will mark down the coordinates and we shall return. I see something pretty weird in the distance. It seems like a ship and also this tree, which has shulkers growing on it. Wait, hold on. This is an interesting obsidian tree here. Thank you. That is two shulker shells, not bad. Ooh, that's a dragon head. I wonder if there's an elytra here. I need to be careful though. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Anvils. Two fresh anvils. Four fresh anvils. Thank you. We got bookshelves, which I'll take. You know, why not? These aren't trapped, are they? I don't think they are. We got potions. Nothing good, though. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Have I been scammed? No. Well, that's pretty sad. Oh, here's another structure. This is like a temple. Is there something in here? Yes, there is. Oh, and we got a shulker. 
Thank you for your shell. This is uh, some interesting building. And, ooh, lapis, emeralds. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I do have a quest to defeat one of these whales. If anything, I'll ender pearl away. It's not doing anything, and I killed it, okay. I should probably feel bad about that, to be honest. I'm just gonna collect my rewards. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of these guys, which is crazy. Oh, endermite powder. And there's something up there. Look at that, there's some ore. That looks really cool. I'd like to head up there. One problem, there's phantoms everywhere. They can easily knock me off. While I'm doing this, I'll equip my totem of undying. A metron ore. What is this? It looks very cool. A metron wolf armor. There are clusters. Gives you a lot of experience, actually. Is there anything else here? Oh, there's a lot of those guys there. That's like a little netherite farm. Oh, man, they're knocking each other off. Oh, wait, that's actually good because they're all falling down there. Oh, I'm up to seven. Well, I found this here. Lock, ender pearls, not bad. And city map. Ooh. Oh, and there's another chest in here. Oh, yes. Take me to the end city. What's going on here? Something here. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, music discs. And a void totem of undying. That's good. Ah, I found it. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Oh yeah, the map's activating now. I gotta be careful. I'm very excited. Ooh, what is this? Look at that. Ender lily. Whoa, that's so cool. Look at that. Ah, I love it. Hello. Ooh. This is what we've been looking for, my friends. There are a lot of these guys. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. That's one down. Is that a mini shulker? No way. Gimme, gimme. Oh, there's one under. In fact, there are two under. Oh, and they've successfully made me float. I'm at seven shells and I got hit again. Guys, stop. It's not fun, okay? I don't appreciate it. Oh my goodness. I'm inside the building. <laughs> These guys love shooting me, don't they? They just love it. You guys love this, huh? You guys just sit here all day? It's fine, I'm not angry at all. I think I've cleared this section out. Parkour, parkour. Oh, and a bunch of shulkers. Yes, thank you. That's perfect. Don't you dare hit me. This one's like buffed up. Oh my goodness. Stop, stop it. Stop trying to hit me. Oh man. Okay, this is terrible. Take that, take that, take that. Okay. Gotcha. And gotcha. Can loot this area. It's not a terrible sword. Let's go up to the top here. Break the spawner. And let's defeat you. That's that. And four more shulkers, just like that. I've gotten to the point where I'm out of inventory space. Okay, I'm satisfied. I'm leaving. Great view from up here. Levitate up 50 blocks from the attacks of a shulker. Yes, that's, I did that. And with shulker boxes collected, I think I'm good to head home. Wow, look at how many there are. That's, that's actually crazy. Oh my God. Wow, I was looking at my map. Thank goodness. Wow, wow. Ooh, I had a heart attack. It didn't actually save me from falling. It just saved me from dying in it. Oh my goodness, my helmet broke. What am I doing? Just letting my gear break like a noob. I'm back, holy moly. Okay, I'm gonna unenchant this pickaxe. Hopefully, oh, another fortune two book. That works just fine. There we go. And now we have fortune three. So I've mostly sorted everything out. My backpack and these six junk chests. But there's a problem. My storage is very full. I know for sure we're gonna have to do something with the new storage system later on. So now that I'm done that, I wanna go mining so that I can make a new helmet and we can fix up our gear. Okay, negative 55. I feel like I've went way too low to not have found a cave yet. It's a bit worrying. Ha, a cave. Hello, beautiful. Okay, let's get to mining and hopefully I can get some luck. Whoa! Oh, that one scared me a bit. This is a zombie spawner. Given that spawners drop themselves, I don't need to keep that there. Oh, enchanted golden apple. That's nice. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I keep thinking that that silver ore is diamond, but it's not. I have finally found some diamonds. And so hopefully my luck streak will begin. That was eight. Hello. Okay, this looks like one of those huge mine shafts. Oh, and that's a undead miner. Oh, thank you for the diamond. More diamonds. Oh, another diamond. What do we got going on in here? What happens if I go down? Oh, that's not good. Okay, I see what this was. This was a setup. Let's see if there's some good loot here. Curse of Vanishing? Mm, no, thank you. Two more diamonds. I see a TNT minecart. Oh, wow, that instantly blew up and did a lot of damage. Half my health. Holy moly. Diamond vein number three, four, number five, number six. Another minecart chest. A diamond. Golden apple. Number eight, I think. That was a big one. Whoa, this is an interesting looking mine shaft. Look at this. I've not seen something like this ever. I'm gonna return home. My armor's busted up and I have 53 diamonds. Oh, it's a gift. Oh, 
Candy canes. Well, that's nice. From Yancey Ballow, the leather worker. Aha. Eleonoria. Home sweet home. Protection unbreaking. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna repair this guy and these. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is get 5,708 magma blocks. I'll grab a few shulkers and let's go get everything we need. And according to my calculations, I'm gonna need just over three shulker boxes. So we have some work to do. Now I don't believe I've run into the best biome to find magma locks in. I see some over there. So I'll go and see what we got. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know how I'm running on the lava right now, but I just did that. How did I just run on lava? How is that possible? How am I doing this? Oh, I have Hellstrider. That's what it is. That let me walk on lava. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I did some research. People say that you should just mine at Y30. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Holy moly. I should have brought fire resistance. I'll tell you that much. That is a lot of magma. I've dedicated my inventory to magma blocks and now it's just time to get to work. That is one shulker box. That's two shulker boxes. Here we go, three shulkers. That should be enough. If there was an enderman around me, that would be perfect. Ooh, okay. Well, hello. Here's another fortress. Oh, I saw an enderman. It's gonna drop it, yes. And bam, waystone, perfect. Eleonoria, I need to repair my gear again. And I cannot repair my chest plate. Oh, I can repair this one, there we go. Okay, so we got all the magma blocks. And next we'll need about a shulker box and a half full of glass. And I have no glass. I don't even have any sand. So we're gonna need to do some collecting. Here we can get to work. But I see a ship over there. What do we got in here? Chest. There's a spawner here for skeletons. Break that. And that's it. There's also turtle eggs. I don't think I can pick these up without silk touch, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, now we can get to work. And as much as I'd like to keep going, my shovel is almost broken. We're gonna need to fix that. And I think the best way is to just get mending right now. And I'm just gonna have to sit here for a while doing this. Smite five. <laughs> oh, I just hit the villager. Do all villagers hate me now or what happened? Ah, mending. <laughs> Finally. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Five mending books is already pretty good. Also, I have a quest reward. Now, got an enchanted basin. And I have enough emeralds for one more mending book. Six mending books is pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Let's put mending on that. On the shovel. I do want to put mending on all of this stuff. Boom. Full set of mending armor. Let's head to the nether to actually mend my gear with the nether quartz. I've got an idea. While we're down here, why don't we mine for some netherite because i have a lot of pieces of ancient debris and i could make a full set of netherite gear if i just mine for a bit more because i think i will find quartz while doing this as well so i'll still be able to repair my gear and we're at y15 oh ancient debris thank you very much that did not take long at all now i can have mending on both of my pickaxes and now i can repair my shovel oh ancient debris this is the second little vein. Here we go, three. More ancient debris, number four. Five, oh my goodness, this is really fast. And always make sure to mine around them because you never know how much ancient debris is hidden. Number six, and that's seven. And I've repaired my shovel fully while doing this. And number eight, I believe. Back to home we go. <gasps> no, you didn't do that to me, game. You evil, evil. Now I do have magma walker, but it appears I'm struggling to place blocks under golden apple. And there we go. That was not very polite game. And bam, finally. It's looking like we have 23 pieces. And pick it up. Boom, six netherite ingots. And we place that in there. Bam, and bam. Full netherite armor. And I also have the special gilded fragments we got from defeating bosses in the last video. So we can upgrade our gear even more. And there we go fully gilded netherite armor. Okay, cool. So now I can just activate fire resistance. Look at that. That's looking cool. Woo! Now I can also upgrade my pickaxe, sword, and shovel. So we are way stronger now. Okay. And you know what? I should get our horse back. And here's the netherrack. Yes, our horse is still here. Let's collect all the sand we need. And that 
should be good enough. We need to smelt up all of the sand. I'd also like to get purple dye to make the glass stained purple. And I know that we have the amaranth fields close by, which have a bunch of flowers. I think they were around here. All right, here we are. I need purple in specific. I'm wondering how else you can make purple dye. Red and blue. And is amaranth red? Oh, it is. The red's good because I can mix that with lapis. So I'm just going to collect everything I get my eyes on. That should be enough. I got a stack of red amaranth with this. Make blue dye, red dye, and combine those for two stacks of purple. And I know I collected flowers before, so yep, there we go. There we go. No, I need more than that. <laughs> oh boy. And that should be enough. Bam, that's all the purple dye we need. Now I'm gonna have to wait for all this. While that smelts, I'll make the other resources that I need. And I'm gonna need more wood. Okay, I've got six stacks, that should do. And those are all the trapdoors I need. I need bamboo. There is a jungle. I need two stacks of this stuff. Scaffolding, bam. And this glass is finished, but I'm out of coal. That's not good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna need some more coal. Oh, underground. And let's get to collecting some coal. Fill these up with coal. Now I need 96 minecarts, apparently. I did not know what I signed up for when I started making this farm. Oh my goodness, I can't even carry all of these in my inventory. How many shulkers am I gonna need? I need 60 snow. And by the way, after looking through the comments on the first 100 days, I got the same name suggestion three times, and that name was Skelly. So here we go, Skelly, the skeleton horse. Up the mountain we go, and I should just be able to, yes, mine this. What is this? Permafrost. Ooh, man, that's already a full inventory. I will just convert this into snow blocks. Oh, and I already have the stack that I need. Back home we go. Snow collected. Okay, so I finally collected all of these resources. Then we have this glass that I just need to turn into purple stained glass. There we go. There's another eight stacks. Okay, all of the materials collected. That took a long time. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is head into the nether and get on top of the bedrock. To do that, we're gonna need to make a bedrock breaker. And the last thing I need is ender pearls. Eight ender pearls will do. Oh, even nine. And I actually need some obsidian as well. So I will grab this. And I have 24 pieces, which should be good enough. Okay, with that, I'm ready. First thing we gotta do is mine up to the bedrock layer. And here we are. Now, all I should have to do is ladder and ender pearl. And there we go, voila. Now, to break the bedrock, what we're gonna do is make a contraption. We're gonna make it like this. Place two TNT here, lever, trap door, and piston. And then, we're gonna stand here and spam click this corner. And I failed. And boom. Did it work? No. Here we go. It worked, but it only brought us one layer lower, which isn't good. And we'll set this up again. It worked, but again, there's a double layer here. I'm gonna need to head back to get more TNT. Let's do that real quick. Good thing I brought a nether portal with me. I need gunpowder. I'm going to go underground and hunt for some creepers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I had feather falling. <laughs> I also had a totem of a dying, but wow. <laughs> and this is what I came here for. Okay, that's 10 so far. Thank you. More vases. A lot more. <gasps> oh, hold on. I dropped diamond boots. That's the first time. Curse of suffocation. Mending. Unbreaking. They're actually not bad. Oh, I actually needed that creeper not to explode. I'm getting more diamonds now than I've gotten when I'm actually looking for diamonds. 20, 30. And that's 64 gunpowder. We can make 12 TNT with that. And now let's try this again. 
They broke a hole, but again, it's in a bad place, so I can't actually get down. Okay, so what I think I can do is go back under the bedrock, find a spot that is guaranteed to be only one layer of bedrock, and then mark the coordinates so that I can break it there. Oh, and my nether portal now goes up here. I'm gonna have to make a new portal, so let's head out. Oh! Who is this guy? Ivo Zax, the wandering trader. Well, hello. He's got like grape and wines and he has mules. Can I ride them? Oh, I can't. Okay. Anyways, let's head out and we can build a portal here, I think. And that's a pretty good teleport. It's actually right next to our other portal so I can easily make our way back up. Okay, so... Oh. Here's a little segment that could be accessible. Yes, this should be a good block to break, I believe. So if I just mark down that X and Z, this is the block we need to break. Therefore, we should place the obsidian like so and a piston there. And I just need the TNT again. Let me check if I have looting real quick. No, it doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna try some level two enchantments real quick, but I'm not getting any luck. Let's head into the nether so we can get some levels and hopefully I can get the looting enchantment so we can get more gunpowder. This is going to make it easier to get some quartz really quickly. As we can see, we already have a bunch here. Oh my goodness. And that is level 36, meaning I can do three level 30 enchantments. So we got looting two. Oh, it's literally just looting two. Another level 30. That was also not good. Looting one. Looting two. Book. Okay. This is a cool little biome. Look at this. Look at these cactuses here. This is called a gravel desert. Let me just mine this quartz up and I'm level 31. With that we can get this looting two book. I'm going to do that. Let's go out to hunt some creepers. Here we go. Let's test our luck on the first creeper two gunpowder and we're up to 10 i'm already up to 30 and it hasn't been that long oh and that one tried to sneak up on me 43 gunpowder and the day is just coming back up and tnt so tnt and i'm ready didn't work didn't work that didn't work okay and i have to get gunpowder again i'm going crazy um and then i ended up losing some footage but i did hunt down the creepers broke the hole and i was now ready to finally build the gold farm okay so i need to make this over another wastes biome now my map will make it easier to go right above one we have another waste biome right here here and we should build this thing right here first we'll build up with scaffolding 107 blocks and that should be 107 blocks of scaffolding right there okay i'm going to redo this and move it closer to the actual center of the lava pool from here we're going to do that same thing there we go we're at 235 y level and now i should just place glass first thing we're doing is making a seven by seven box there we go just gotta place these hoppers one two three like that now we'll place ladders for the lobby more glass hopper mine carts and we have to stack 20 mine carts on each side i think this is uh the killing machine for zombie pigmen. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm, I'm just following the tutorial. I'm now adding grindstones here and uh, I also don't know why, why I'm doing this. I then begin working on a glass circle for the base of the farm. Uh oh, one of these burn zombies spawned up here, which is not supposed to happen. This would not be a problem in vanilla Minecraft, I'll tell you that much. Oh man, I think that's all my glass. There's the nether portal. Okay, looking at my comments, I've gotten a lot of you guys saying that I should just use the charged ender pearl, like a lot, a lot of you. So I'm just gonna use it. Check this thing out. Whoop. Boom. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh, look how that's looking. Holy moly. There we go, and the circle is complete. Now I have to build out with magma blocks and make another circle. Now I just have to fill it in. Oh my goodness, it's two of these baby burn zombies. I can't even talk. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me activate my fire resistance. That's right, what you gonna do now? That's what I thought. I love this armor. Oh no, not the gas, not the gas! Oh, the gas are starting to spawn, that's bad. Oh no you don't, no you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Stop it. Oh, man. Oh, not the gas, man. 
Oh, come on, man. I need my bow. I need my bow. Oh, my goodness. Everything's going bad right now. I'm gonna go make invisibility potions. This is not good for me at all. Okay, so I need night vision potions, but then I need fermented spider eyes. Combine all of those. Fermented spider eyes. Just add redstone, and there we go. And let's place the waystone down here for now. We'll rename it Gold Farm. I'm gonna drink an invisibility. Anyways, let's finish filling this first layer in. Okay, that is the first layer complete. Now we need to start working on the next one. I continued my work on the farm, filling in the second, third, and fourth layers of the magma. Oh, there we go, filled up. Now it's time to do the glass section. And that is all of the glass built. Now I'm gonna go around and break all of this. And that is it for the glass. Now we just gotta add trap doors all around the edge of this fourth layer. Now I gotta close all of these. Okay, now I need to get a piglin into each corner. First, I'll build each of the corners out. Um, can I push you over, sir? Would you mind? Go there. Okay, really, guys? You're ruining it. Stop it. And perfect. Now we just got to name them. And just as a thank you to my Patreon supporters, I'm going to name each of the piglin one of my patrons. There we go. Now I just got to get the rest of the pigmen in the corners. These burn zombies are insane. They are never ending. Let's push you over. And there we go. And give you a name. There we go. You can have a name. That is our fourth and final pigman and with that it's just time to finish the storage and there we go that's one and i'll just do the others add a chest behind add the hoppers and extend it hoppers again and then just a double chest that's the third one and that's the fourth one there we go. Okay, with that, I think we're done the farm. And all that I should have to do is make sure my render distance is on 16, which it is. And then I just need to shoot a pigman. Oh boy, this better work. Oh, wait, okay. Uh, they're falling in. They're falling in. And I think it's working. Oh my goodness, this is this is scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and the XP is coming in. Oh, this is crazy. The gold's already getting transported. And maybe I just need to shoot them again as well. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. I shot the two ones that were in corners. Oh, my goodness. I messed up so bad. Okay. There we go. Okay. Fixed. Hopefully for that to never happen again. Yes, everybody come. Come at me. We finally did it. I can't believe it. This was a, a long process. <laughs> well, you know what? It's done. What's done is done. I'm gonna AFK here for a bit and see how many more levels I can get. Okay, kind of bad news. These burned are messing with the farm, but if I bow them, let's see if that makes it a bit better, which it seems like it is because now they're all aggroed onto me. So it looks like this is also gonna be a magma cream farm. I got up to level 56 while AFKing, which is pretty good. Oh, look at all these guys flood down. <laughs> <laughs> so this turned into a double farm and you know what that's just what happens in better minecraft I guess now that we're done with that. I really 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 need a storage I mean this is rough my chest is just not built to handle all of this and I was looking through the comments on our last episode and you guys really like the idea of turning that cave into a base and building things there and there's just so many things we can build in that space ah here's Skelly let's go Skelly I do wish Skelly was faster and uh, on that topic I'm still gonna need to get all of our other animals back okay I've made it oh there it is that's the crazy opening look at this thing Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? If you think that I'm gonna go down there without an elytra and fireworks to fly around, you're crazy, because I'm not doing it. I need to get an elytra. And I'm also gonna need a bunch of fireworks, which means we're gonna need to get a way of making a bunch of them. And we have the waystone here, so I can't teleport on our horse, can I? No. Okay, before we proceed, we need to find all of our animals and bring them back. I believe we have five in total. Skelly is gonna be our first one. Look at this. 
This is so beautiful. Orchard. And we're back. The first animal has successfully been brought home. Now we just need to bring the leopards, the zebra, and our horse. Now it's kind of hide and seek for the other animals because I don't exactly remember where they are. So we'll go down the list of teleports that we have. Nope, not this one. No, not this one. There is a woodland mansion there though. Mm, no, definitely not this one. Oh, nope, that's the nether gauntlet which has spawned again, apparently. <laughs> Let's continue going. I found them. We found them. My snow leopards are back. Well, we're just gonna have to run all the way back with them. That's a pretty far distance, but it's okay. We'll get through it. There is a lot of bamboo here. Oh, that's not a good thing to run into. It's a panda. Hello. Whoa, look at this. This is like a generated island. Look at this. Hold on. Look at this. It's a, like a tropical island. Indian paintbrush. Ooh, this is cool. Look at that. There's a few volcanoes. I like these. Jungle palm leaves. And we are home. Now the question is, can I make them sit? And I think I can. Okay, so we're done that. Now we just have two more animals. Our zebra and horse. Haha. -ha. And here we go. We got our zebra. Let us head back home now. There is a house here. What is that? An ant? Hello. Oh, my leopards teleported to me. Okay, and we brought our zebra home. So now we just need to bring our horse back and it should be, yes, adventure right here. Um, And my leopard somehow came with me. How did that happen? I have no idea how the leopard teleported. I try to make them stay, but they're uncontrollable. I have a lot of running back to do. I need to run back like 9,000 blocks. So this isn't gonna be the funnest experience. Whoa, look at these turtles. Hello, whoa, it's blue and then this one's blue and green. Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys look really cool. I've never seen a blue turtle. Whoa, look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> look at that generation. <laughs> look at this, look at this hippo, hello. Oh my goodness, it's aggressive. Hey. What the heck? That was unexpected. We've done it. <laughs> we have returned all of our animals back. Welcome back, everybody. Now, for our leopards, I have an idea that I want to try. Let's try this. Leopard number two, bam. So we have two guarding leopards. And this way, hopefully, they won't follow me around at least, which uh, would be kind of better. And for our horses, we need to make a stable. How can I build this stable? I think it serves its purpose being close by, so we can build it here. A lot of you guys said that I should use the tree chopping mod that lets me one chop trees because at first I removed it from the pack because I thought it was too overpowered. But after spending so much time chopping trees, you know what? These trees can get chopped. I don't care. Bam, now we can build up the stable here and it's time to get to work. Okay, I'm breaking it and redoing it. That looks a lot better. Need another type of wood here. Let's try this jacaranda. I need to get more jacaranda wood. This is uh, pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. This tree chopper mod is a huge improvement. And I think it's kind of fair because of how big the trees in this mod pack are. Now we can get back to work. I'm adding barrels around to have some variety. There we go, that's looking really nice. Hmm, what if I use these? Ooh, I'm liking that. Hold on, this is working real well. Ooh, that fits really well. Look at that, I'll leave the link to the stable I used for inspiration in the description. And let's make some lanterns. Cryptic lantern. Let's see if this does a good job. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks scary, but it definitely can fit. Boom. That's looking all right. And do this. And we'll fill the floor in with those. 
There we go. So that's filled in. And there we go. Let's pile up these leaves around the sides. And I need hay as well. There we go. I have 64. Flowers as well. This is looking good. I'm happy with our horse stable. This turned out amazing. Now let's gather up all of our horses. Bring you in here. Oh, and it just left using the hay. Okay, we're gonna need to fix that. Maybe if I do this. Here's Skelly. In we go. And here we go. Zebra in. Here we go, everyone. We got you the horse stable. It's looking good. I did ask you guys for names for our other two horses in the last episode. For our zebra, I saw the name suggestion Zwev, which I thought was really clever. So we now have Zwev. There we go. And for our regular horse, I just saw a comment that said Bob. And you know what? I don't even know what horse that was from or what was going on there, but I thought that was pretty funny just because this is the most basic animal we have. Now I have no hate against Bob. I love Bob, but I think it's a perfect name for him. So there we go. We have Skelly, Bob, and Zwev. Now that all that's done, it's time to get our Elytra. Finally. This time with the charged ender pearl, it's gonna be way easier. Oh, but you know what? I'm gonna make a... There we go. A waystone. That's gonna be good to have. And you know what? I'm gonna put my totem of void undying on for sure. Let us head in. Now, I would like to go in an opposite direction of where we went last time, which would be upwards. So let's do that. And I wish I would have brought my powder that helps me find end cities. In fact, why don't I just do that now? Endermite powder. Perfect. Let's just test it here to see... Oh, it's bringing me upwards, which is different from the other end city I found. Hello, please guide me to the end city and hopefully an elytra. Oh, there's an end gate here. That's good to know, I guess. If there, you know what? If there were alien mobs in this mod pack within this biome, that would be really, really scary, but also really cool. Before the end of the episode, I would like to fight that boss. But first, we will stick to our mission of getting our elytra, which speaking of, there's an end city. What's the best way of getting there? It seems like kind of need to go around the right side oh wow that was on the edge <laughs> okay let's slowly try to make our way over <gasps> yeah that's that's gonna use my totem of void undying okay <laughs> that's really not good well i'm gonna have to be much more careful now whoa look at that oh those are so cool oh my goodness Ooh, I can get these blocks quite easily. Glow shroom caps. Maybe we can build something out of this stuff. I mean, honestly, it's a really nice building addition. This seems to be a very, very, very small end city. And take them out one by one. Okay, there's no chests here. So let's just continue going upwards. I can just pearl like so. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm getting rocked around. Oh, here we go, chests. Okay break that. I was gonna say, I'm not sure if pickaxes do more damage to shulkers or not, because it seems like my sword's doing a lot of damage to them. Oh, totem of void undying. Nice. Break the fourth spawner. There we go. Let me loot this stuff. Some decent stuff. Gas tier, which isn't bad. Gold. Some music discs. I think I have all of those. Uh, sharpness four, backstabbing three, looting three. Knife, which seems like it could be pretty good. And one more chest. Strange and alien. I don't know if I have that music disc, so I'll take it. Let's make our way up. Oh, there's another floor of loot. Oh my goodness. Oh, silk touch pickaxe. I actually needed that. And more shulker boxes don't hurt. And that seems to be... Oh, never mind. Oh, we got that. That's good. And that's... Okay. Void totem again. So that seems to be it for this place. But that was really, really good. Well, I guess we continue our search in hopes of finding an elytra. Now I have totems of void undying, so that's good. And I think I see the end city. Unfortunately, this seems like another small one, but let's check it out. Um, okay. So there's no loot. <laughs> let's get out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get away from me. Whoa, this one has a flower on top of its head. I've found these slimes before. They've never had a flower like that. Okay, let's use this powder again. Oh my goodness, here we go. That's a huge end city. Look at that, and it has this hot air balloon thing? I don't know. I hope that has the elytra. It should, right? <laughs> I hope so, because I'm very happy if, if that's the case. And this is quite the epic end city, honestly. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't really care about the shulkers. Let's just forget about them. Here are the chests. 
Let's see what's in these chests. Diamonds and an unbreaking pickaxe. Totem avoid undying. <laughs> Mini shulker. Look at this thing. Thank you. Ooh, diamonds. Ooh, this one is nice. There's a lot of diamonds here. Holy moly. More diamonds. 26 already. That's a good chest plate. It's a good pickaxe. How's that shovel? That's a really good shovel. <laughs> Let's pearl on top of everything. And you know what? I want to make it over to this blimp. Bridge over carefully. Oh, man, I'm levitating. But you know what? That's okay, because I'm going to pearl. There we go. Let us check out what is here, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, it's not empty. It has an elytra. <gasps> Woo! We found an elytra, everybody. Yes. Sky's Limit already has on breaking and mending. Oh my goodness. Equipable in the cape slot. There we go. We already have an elytra. And there's an ender chest. That was a long journey, but we finally found it. Okay, well with that, I mean, I'm teleporting home right away. Now that we have done this, all we need is a way to keep getting fireworks. And to get fireworks, we're gonna need to build both a sugarcane farm for paper and a mop farm for gunpowder. I wanna build a sugarcane farm that's actually gonna last us for a while. And so I wanna make it an automatic one. This is gonna be a big farm. I'm thinking the best spot to put it is gonna be right around here because then I can have my mob farm close by. Now let me check if I have any gunpowder so I can make at least a little bit of fireworks. Ooh, that feels good. Okay, yeah, so I think this would be a great spot for the farm. First of all, we should probably stop this forest fire, take all the fire out, and there we go. Now I'm gonna need to clear the area out, and wow, it is really foggy right now. <laughs> so let's get to work on doing that. Okay, so I've cleared out the area and now we can get to work. But that work is gonna have to start with gathering the materials for the farm. Gotta grab a bunch of dirt. And fortunately, I kept a lot of what we dug up. And I'm gonna need to smelt some sand up as well. And I'm gonna make a silk touch pickaxe. There we go. Mm, I don't have enough rails. And I don't really have any more iron. So we're gonna have to do our favorite thing and go mining. All right, let's teleport uh, out randomly <laughs> and let's mine straight down. I'm too impatient to actually find a cave, so I'm digging straight down. Okay, that is definitely uh, a big cave. Yes, indeed. a seal. Hello. <laughs> I think this trip was very successful. That is everything we got. It doesn't look like a lot, but it'll definitely do the trick. I'm gonna need a bunch of slime blocks. That means I need to find a bunch of slimes. Well, let's go down and see if any slimes are spawning. And I just realized that my leopard is following me. Again, I'm not finding any slimes. Now, if I could find a swamp biome, I could definitely try going to the end and farming those end slimes. And in that case, let me stock up on some fireworks. And I need... Oh my goodness. My leopard is gonna die like that. Leopard, you cannot be here so bad and with just over a stack of fireworks we can adventure in the end for a bit let's see if we can have any luck is that a new end city i think it is hello another elytra that's not bad at all and i can break those spawners oh here's another end city wow those were very close together and this is gonna give us another elytra i think oh a lot of diamonds this is how i can get loot holy moly and a third elytra. I mean, the end cities are great and all, but I don't think that we're actually gonna find any end slimes. And with the gate right here, I think I'll just head home. Yeah, let's return and find slimes the normal way. In fact, we can go adventuring for a bit. Let's see what we can do. If I can just find a pure swamp on the way, that would be great. There also might be slime balls in some of the chests of the structures I loot, so I'll have to keep an eye out on that. Ooh, what is this? Huh, it's a, some type of a witch hut. This could have slime balls in it. Oh, yes it does. Now I definitely need more than that, but that's progress. Oh man, that's a witch. 
And that's a black cat. I'm sorry, cat. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, more slime balls. Wait, so this is a swamp and swiftness potions. Why not? So this is called a cypress swamp. And, uh, well, it seems like it has everything we need. That's a huge pile of sugarcane there. That's like 32 just in one area. Okay, now we hope that slimes start spawning. Oh, wait, it's slimes. I'm going to farm up all of these slimes. And bam, 64 slime balls. That's already nine slime blocks. And I only needed 18, I believe. Oh, a firefly has landed on my head, apparently. Oh, I can only make 13 slime blocks. So I need five more. That is a stack of slime balls, which should already be enough. And that is two stacks. Okay, and that's three stacks. Three and a half stacks. Okay, let's craft up these slime balls. There we go. 20 slime blocks, that'll do. And my netherite sword is getting close to breaking from all of this farming, so let's go get a mending book. He actually will not let me do the trade. I need two more emeralds. Let me see if I can mend that real quick. I need a composter. There we go, composter. Here we go, guys. One of you become a farmer, please. You want to become a farmer. You know it. Yes, you do. Corn cob. Carrot trade. That's not bad. Okay, just sitting here farming these carrots. So we got just over six stacks. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Here we go. Bam. I'd also like to re-enchant the sword to get looting three on it and make it stronger. Sharpness, looting, soul reaper. And I can put fire aspect on it like this. Yes. And then I just need an unbreaking book. Combine that with unbreaking, get mending on there as well. And we have a nice sword. And we're finally done with that. We can get back on track. Put our sugar cane in the chest. We need redstone torches, a lot of hoppers, and good thing we got a bunch of iron. Okay, there we go. There we go, sticky pistons, redstone dust. Just gotta make a bunch of these hopper mine carts and with all of that we are ready to start this build first i'm gonna need to clear out a 20 by 40 block hole that's two blocks deep and it would help if i had a beacon but i do not yet now hold on if i have three wither skulls i'll do it oh i have four. Oh my goodness okay oh man i already got a quest completed for defeating the wither even though i have not done that yet i'm just curious what the reward is i won't collect it oh three to five another right scrap okay let's do it real quick i'm pretty confident in defeating the wither my gear is pretty maxed out so yeah now it would be good for me to just get power four on my bow there we go two power four books I can only do one but that's okay let's go spawn the wither and i'll just do it up on this mountain i think it's very foggy let's summon the wither on this very very rainy day okay come at me let's go you know maybe doing it on the hill right next to my base wasn't a good idea because now it's kind of going to be ugly, but, uh, well, it's too late for that, my friends. Okay, it's coming in for the kill. So am I. And it's gone. Nice. Yeah, this, uh, this wasn't the best idea, but I am glad that we defeated the Wither, and now I can create a beacon. And you know what that'll do. When the grass grows back in, it'll look pretty natural. Beacon. And as for the ores, do I have enough? Ooh. The answer might be no. Mm, no, <laughs> that's not gonna be enough. Yay. Well, you know what? It was a good try. Now, at least I have that beacon and I can also collect my reward from which I got four in the right scrap. Anyways, let's, let's get back to work here. There we go. We're done clearing this out. First, we're building the storage system. So we'll add hoppers to it. There we go. Now we'll make a little entrance. Now we'll add a 2D pole here. We'll do another one here. Now we'll add redstone torches. Now we'll place these rails. Ooh, not like that though. I also need to place regular rails. <laughs> Look at that. That looks really cool. And now I can finish placing the blocks here. Now the rest we fill in with dirt. 
And there we go. All filled in. It's time to place the slabs down. And there we go. The slabs are done. Now we got to add water to all of them. Bam, that's the last one. All the water has been filled in. Now we'll build the automatic sugarcane harvester. And trap door there. And it's going. The machine has started. It should return back. Perfect. Now we just gotta place down the sugar cane. That should be all the pieces done. Now we need to build a glass wall all around. I'll add some jungle logs as the border. And I think you guys don't always love my block choices, but I don't know, I like doing interesting things. So you guys are gonna have to deal with these weird exotic woods. There we go. Let's fill this wall up too high. And it is already day 180, which is crazy. Glass is done. And I'm supposed to add five stacks of blocks into this hopper. And this should automatically work whenever that clock runs out, I believe. There we go. And it's going. Beautiful. Our creation is working. <laughs> and it stops. And let's see how much sugar cane we got just from that first harvest, which was about five minutes. And as you can see, we got quite a lot. And you know what? I'm too tempted to add lighting and a roof. And if I do this, we get the glowstone lamps. Before I add it to the farm, I want to add it around the base. You know what? It looks okay. I think we could find something that would fit better, but honestly, having something is better than nothing right now because uh, the torches, they're not doing it. They are not doing it for me. That'll do for now. Now, as for our sugarcane farm, I think these will actually work perfectly. So I'll go through and add little layers like so. Okay, I've added the lamps and I'll get to work. gonna need some more deep slate head into the mine shaft and I'm just gonna mine down lower this way there we go we got deep slate and I'll just mine a little bit of this not too much okay and that should be all we need oh, I do need some gun powder for fireworks hello friends oh thank you thank you that's a full stack of gunpowder what is that oh my goodness some orc. I don't even want to get hit by it. Move, skeletons. I'm getting chased by some being. Uh, move, guys. I'm not getting hit by that. <laughs> I've never seen that. Oh, it was it was an orc. He just dropped orc skin, which can be used to make a dragon saddle. It's daytime. I got a stack and a half of gunpowder, which is pretty good. Let us make our slabs. That should be all the polished deep slate I need. And that's three stacks of fireworks. Hello. And there we go. It's all done. That is our completed sugarcane farm. And we are now all good on sugarcane. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Two stacks here, and it's still coming in. Another stack there. Nice. Okay, now let's start working on the storage system. So, first I made a storage terminal. I accidentally had my recording paused, but I made one of these. This is going to be like the front face of the storage and where we can right click to access all of our chests. And now we're going to need to make the inventory connector, which actually connects all of the chests together and that's what we're going to put the storage terminal on and i think that's all we need for now on that front now we can also make a wireless terminal which will require a spyglass and glowstone which we can get do i have any amethyst i have not really been collecting any mm, i don't think i have amethyst let's quickly fly down to our mine shaft is there any amethyst cluster here yes there is i see it on the map let's dig over there oh here it goes 12 amethyst shards. Was that just from one? Oh, wow. Yeah, it was. Holy moly. I didn't know that. Thank you. Thank you. And that is a stack of amethyst shards really quick. 
Let's craft the spyglass and a piece of glowstone and let's craft the wireless terminal. I can also make the advanced terminal. It's definitely gonna be worth making an advanced version. Here we go, netherite scrap, combine that with gold. There we go. This allows you to make the storage accessible from anywhere, which will be really great. If I have that, and then I combine chests with it. Chest, chest, chest. Does that work? 432 slots. What if I go up? It should still be 432. Yes, it is. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm excited to use this storage, but we need to put it in its place. So let us head to our cave base. Here it is. The crazy, crazy cave. Where to even start with a place like this? I mean, it's it's honestly crazy. For the storage, we would build it over here. First thing I gotta do is most definitely light the area up. Otherwise, we're gonna have a lot of mobs, including these baby witches and baby zombies. Kind of got it lit up. Oh, see, that's a really cool effect. Now, I'm gonna need to kind of even this out and that means i'm gonna have to break a lot of stone let's clear this area out i might as well just set up the storage now and we can move it later if we want and then let's place the chests okay and now if i just put all of this stuff in here it should hold it just fine and yes it does look at that now if i bind that now i can use this terminal while i'm here which is really nice and i can collect all of this cobblestone boom and put it in that's so amazing have cleared out a pretty decent amount and have gotten a lot of cobblestone while doing so. This gives us a pretty good chunk of space to work with. And I can build the controller here, I think. There we go. Add the chests. And it's time to carry over all of our loot. Now the terminal is out of range. Oh, if there's a beacon in an eight block radius of the terminal, it'll work. I've been wanting to make a beacon so long and now it turns out that it's actually important to make it. So you know what? I will take this opportunity to make one. We're gonna need to do some mining though. So uh, let's get to work. I've got four stacks of ore. I'm gonna need 18 in total. I think I'm done mining. I've gotten about 15 stacks of ores or so. And on top of that, I just remembered the fact that we have ores in our gold farm. It seems like we have a decent amount. Before I actually loot that, let's head to our cave base and we'll drop off all of the stuff we got. And it is so easy to do. I love it. So let's grab all that. It's looking like a pretty decent amount of gold. Actually, more than I thought there would be. So, I mean, that's a decent amount of gold. Another stack and a quarter. So that's what we got from AFKing at the gold farm, which is really nice. Okay, now I have a bunch of ore to smelt. Okay, let's collect all of these stacks of iron ingots and gold. Now let's craft this up into blocks. That's a stack of iron blocks. That's 24 more. Can also make a bunch of golden blocks. I have more. With that, I think I have enough for a beacon. We need to build this beacon within an eight block radius. I'm just gonna put it here. Okay, let's dig out an area. Bam, now I just need to dig upwards. There we go. Let me break back down. There we go. With that, I'll, I'll just activate haste two here. Oh, why is that not working? I might have not done this correctly. Yeah, this is wrong. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's fix this up. There we go. And I have to build the next layer here, it turns out. And oh, no. Oh my goodness, everything just went wrong. <laughs> Done. That should now activate a level four beacon. Yes. Boom. We now have haste two. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Ooh, this cave is gonna look good. Now that we have all that set up, we should easily be able to transfer our items. And I press my advanced terminal. It lets me access it and I can put items in. If I do this, I can easily put all my items in. Let's get to carrying everything over. Oh, and apparently I can put it in my belt trinket slot. Boom. 
Okay, everything has been cleared out. Awesome. Now we need to make this look nice. I had the idea to border it with coal blocks. You know what? An even better idea might be using obsidian because this is kind of like a vault. Huh, and there is some really cool obsidian in this pack actually. Like we've got this blue weeping obsidian, for example. I'm gonna have to head into the nether and find a place that has this obsidian again, which I found one time. I don't know if I still have a port there though. Maybe, yes. This was the one where the portal was nearby. Oh, here's the portal. Wait, I want to see if this is the one. Ah, yes it is. Nice. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's get some more of this blue obsidian because this is cool stuff. In fact, while we're doing this, I want to make something because I figure that it's a pretty good idea. Dragon scale, smithing table, and that's a dragon scale pickaxe. Now, let's see if that's faster. I don't know if it's a lot faster, but uh, well, it, it, it should be a bit faster. <laughs> let's collect this up. There's also blue obsidian glass. So if this works like glass, I can place it where the beacon is, which would be perfect. Okay, I've gotten a decent amount of blue obsidian. Let's see what this is going to look like. Break all this coal. That's what it's looking like currently. So it's looking pretty good. I could also end up filling this in with this blue obsidian glass, which is a pretty cool look actually. So we're gonna need more of that glass. So I'd like to design it, but before that, let's finish the actual full, full chest layout and let's just chop down a bunch, bunch, bunch of trees. And that is a lot of stacks of wood. That's a stack of chests, that's two stacks, and that is three stacks. This is insane. I think that'll do for now, and then we'll expand it if we need to later. So let's just fill up on more of these blue obsidian type blocks. Okay, I have a good lump amount of obsidian. Leopard, we're gonna need you to move over here. There we go, cover this up. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go, that's good progress. Now we still have a lot to add in here. Blue obsidian tile, bricks, that. They all look really similar to each other. They're no easier to break, I'll tell you that much. I figure we'll add glass on the side here and then continue on with this design. Mm -hmm. I would like to add glass all along here as well. So I need to mine up a bunch more of this obsidian glass. Oh, you can make glass panes out of this? Are you kidding me? I'd like to test that. Ooh, mine up a bunch more. Okay, almost two stacks of glass. And let me make one set of panes and see how that looks. Mm-hmm. Oh, but that's too easy to break. Can't have that. We need indestructible glass. There we go. That is all filled in. And now let's add the slabs on top. Finish that. And then I'll do a ring around like so. Ooh, does the beacon make it through a slab? I think it does, which is pretty nice. Boom. And with that, our vault is about done here. Just need to fill in the bottom flooring here. Yeah, we're gonna need to change all these blocks underneath. Efficiency four. There we go. Efficiency four to make efficiency five. And oh, this is so much better. Okay. Hmm, I don't know how much I like these tiles. I don't think it works for the top very well. Is it looking better like that? We'll leave it like that for now. And I am going to use the slabs on the bottom. Okay, now this is looking good, but the area around it is very, very empty. We need to kind of spruce the area around it up. And I'm thinking we could do that by adding a bunch of nether type blocks. Let's head into the nether and try to find the blocks that we want. There are a lot of cool blocks that can be found in the nether. And I got to make sure that I'm collecting them with silk touch. Ooh, yes. And I can grab the exact type of block as well, which is nice. 
And there's also this fairly weird biome that these pillars usually spawn in, actually, which is called Magma Land. I can grab a bit of this stuff and maybe we can try to kind of recreate this biome. And in fact, I should put shears in my inventory so that I can get some of these more unique types of blocks. Okay. Ooh, overgrown netherrack. Unfortunately, I can't get this purple variant. Whoa, look at this. Wart forest. This looks crazy. Soul lily. Can I pick this up with my shears no with my axe no i can just get the sapling oh we got wart log look at this look at these trees here we have this biome which is really cool sub-zero hypogeal i'm gonna grab this travertine as well that's this biome collected let's see what else we can find and in fact i would like some sources of light this looks like an interesting one so let's grab these sub-zero crystal blocks that's a good amount of this stuff and can i mine these yes i can nice this is another biome we can add i think i have enough blocks for the time being so let's head back and let's get to work on oop let's get to work on adding in these biomes and i'm gonna need some more of this stuff oh boy i did not calculate at all oh Hot tourist destinations and a glorious past. Find an abandoned nether city. Abandoned nether city. What do we have? Go oh, I'm sorry, netherman. Oh, or not netherman, enderman. Um, okay. Now, the structures here look absolutely amazing. This kind of reminds me of Atlantis City, except like a nether version of it, which is really, really cool. I'm wondering if there's actually any loot here. Uh, there does seem to be blocks of gold in the middle. And just the look of itself is worth finding this, but some loot as an added bonus would be nice. I'm afraid there's no loot. Look at this glass. Framed quartz glass pane. That looks nice. Mm, let's fly on in here. Mm, oh, well, this isn't a part of the village, I don't think. This is just a tower. Take them all out. Yeah, well, we got netherite scrap. Oh, there's two more chasing me down. Oh, and a third one. Gold, some pork chop. And other than that, it's just basic loot here. Chest of drawers? How does this work? Oh, I don't know. This is just a chest, but it's a drawer. Well, I'll mark down the coordinates, and if we need this for anything in the future, I have them ready. Ooh, can I collect this purple block? No, I can't. Mm. Oh, well, I have a silk touch shovel here. I'd rather use that, actually. Yes, and it does work. That's nice. Okay, I got 64 of this Wailing Nilium, which I'm happy with because it's pretty hard to collect, and I definitely need more of this stuff. I can get some more bone block. These trees are very cool looking. Ooh, and this blue netherrack is a great block to collect. There are so many strange blocks around. I think I've collected enough of a variety of blocks. Now I'm just going to make sure that I have enough netherrack. So I'm just going to mine. I am ready. Time to get to work transforming this. So first, I'll finish the Sepian region. I've added a bit of netherrack here as well, just to kind of meld into this biome. So that's how this is looking now. I think that this biome mainly had the bone blocks going for it, so we can add some of those. It's a bit weird, but it kind of adds. There we go. We're gonna leave that biome as it is for now, and we'll move on to the next one. Black bush. Can add some of those smokers there we go that's done on the back we can add the blue netherrack section so that's the orange bit added and then to add some blue netherrack we can do that on the walls Build into the back of the wall further. Add some clusters of ember here, I think. And I'll leave a bit of stone in every now and then, just because that'll help me start to blend this in with the rest of the cave. Slowly filling all of this in. 
and I need to get Blackstone. So I'll head into the nether again. And it looks like I'm already in the biome. So that's perfect. Gimme, gimme. And that's enough. I'll head home and we'll slowly start adding in the plain Blackstone. Now I gotta add lava here and lava back to the cave base actually we should give this place a name wolf den okay that's the name the wolf den let's add our lava let me grab all of these variants of things bone mushroom spores oh interesting we'll do that bone grass crimson would go over here uh -huh. Wall red mushroom. Those look nice like that. There we go. Jellyfish mushroom sapling. Just place some regular mushrooms. Stalactite. Place some of that like so. Interesting. Interesting. We can add some more of these stalactites here. Okay. Crimson fungus. We want that for sure. There's two biomes I forgot. Oh my goodness. Okay. I want to add this sub-zero biome as the kind of top area here to fill this in. about out of fireworks so i need to fight some creepers off and this is actually a good opportunity to explore more of the cave that we're going to be building in look at this more creepers what is in here oh a bone to pick professional dungeoneer explore all of the better dungeons oh a diamond diamond and now that i have fireworks i can head into the nether set temporary waypoint oh what is this hold on hold on hold on hello this isn't just a nether fortress, is it? This is some kind of a special wither skeleton fortress. And look at that. It's like a wither statue. Uh, interesting place here that I've found. Gunpowder and some random enchanted loot. Whoa, Echonite Rod. Holy moly. I don't know what this stuff is, but it looks rare and I'm picking it all up. Oh, I don't have much time left at all. Now, hold on there. I just realized... We have, like, literally not even a day left. Hold on. Ooh, let's, uh, let's rush over to the Sub-Zero Hyper... What is this? What is this, though? Oh, my goodness. It's like a special... Oh, my goodness. There's so... Oh, I'm angering the whole world. Holy moly. Okay, I don't have time for this. Okay, it's like a piglin fortress, but I literally... I don't have time. I need to finish this project. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, collect this up. Okay, really? Oh, my goodness. Go away. Go to the wolf den and work on quickly finishing this. Okay, how is that looking? It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. And you know what? I really don't need to do much more than that. Got a big chunk of space here. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, if I want, I can also add some shroom lights and glowstone. Oh yeah, look at that. So it is currently the night of day 200. We're going to go and fight that boss, the Epsidolith. I feel pretty ready in terms of my gear. And I just need to make sure I have my golden apples on me. We don't have much time. Let's go fight the Epsidolith. Where was the boss room? There it is. Oh, man. We, we barely have any time. We're pretty geared. And in that, I have confidence. Okay. We're here. Oh boy. Uh, I have Ender. That's going to activate it. Other than that, I'm eating my golden apple right away because I'm not 100% sure what I'm walking into. And... Okay. Yeah, it spawned. Um... I'm so... Oh, okay. I, I know for a fact that I should not get hit by things like that. Oh, no. Oh, man. I forgot to put my bow on my bar. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I used my fire resistance on my armor, but I'm still getting hits on it. We're doing good. It has a lot of health. Ooh, okay, it's it deals damage. This is only phase one. Okay, I th I've gotten it into phase two, I think, because we've... Oh, boy, it, it's not going to be back. Okay, I think I'm supposed to break these runes. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, okay. Now, I know that the ender charged ender pearl is going to come in handy for this boss fight. Break this. This is like the Ender Dragon where you have to break the things that heal it. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. It drops your health really fast. <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I got my other totem on. Holy moly. Oh, I was panicked. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. I will. I'm out of words. I was not expecting it to one-shot me like that. Wow, I'm really scared of this boss now. Okay. I'm, get, I'm about to get it to phase three, I think. What is it doing? Okay, it's in phase three. Oh my goodness. It almost did it to me again. Oh! Oh, I dodged it. Holy smokes. Okay, I broke another one. I think there's only one rune left. <gasps> oh, okay. This pearl is coming so in handy. Oh, that did not feel good. I can damage it now. I'm gonna eat a golden apple and I'm still ready to pearl as soon as I might need to. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Good thing I have an elytra. Oh, oh my goodness. That knocks you really high up. Oh no. Woo! We dodged it. I can hear where it's placing the ice crystals, so I'm able to dodge them like that. And I think we got it into its final tier. Because I defeated the last circle. Yes. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I'm doing a lot of the ice things. Oh, no. <sighs> Every time it does that, my heart stops. Okay. Break this. Last rune. And... Oh, it's no longer invulnerable. Just gotta keep landing hits. It's at 80 health. Dodge that. Dodge that. Woo! We did it! <laughs> Obsidian Obliterator. We defeated the Obsidolith. Oh my goodness. What's up here? Oh yes. Okay. It is technically the morning of day 201, but in Minecraft time it's day 200 because it starts on day zero. So I don't care. I'm doing the same thing as the last episode and technically exactly 100 days passed. So I'm actually happy with that. Woo. Okay. Well, first of all, let me look at my quest reward. <laughs> oh, that was a fun boss fight. I got a dragon pickaxe again, which I already have one that I made this episode and a bunch of obsidian it seems. Okay. Oh man. Um, looks like uh, some basic loot other than this obsidian heart, which I want to check out what that does. What is this for? Obsidian heart. Ooh, staff of suppression. Grants short range teleport through solid blocks. Okay, everybody, we have done it. I think we did great. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.